that's Jen for the love of virus and I was just thinking about the stamp pads and sticking the labels on and I thought I might give you a tip on the bottom of every single stamp pad that you get there's going to be four a label with four stickers uh, and it's going to have four different languages so typically you would grab your language and stick it on the front of your pad like like so and that will tell you what the color is uh, but I have found that if you take the other sticker and you put it on this side, if you put it on upside down, then it will show you the color when it's open. Because when it's open, a lot of times if you have three, four, seven, eight, ten ink pads out, they all look very similar. Um, that's a blue one. This is a brown one. Um, kind of hard to tell what they are. Some folks I've seen have stuck their labels in here, which I think is a good idea as well. Um, I tend to stick uh, Q-tips and eyeshadow brushes in mine because that's what I use to ink around the edges. So mine kind of gets dirty and yuck and I use that tray actually as storage. So I don't stick the stickers in there, but I do stick them on the end here. So um, I thought I would just go through that really quickly with you. If you just take your English language or whichever language it is that you use the most and then whichever language you think is closest to the one that you'll be able to read because you really just are concerned about the color um, and I'm gonna just choose one it doesn't really matter because they they're all illegible to me <laughs> um, but I'm going to just choose another sticker and you want to stick it upside down um, so that when your when your thing is open it's it's right side up if that makes any sense so when it's closed the sticker is in fact upside down on the back so we're going to take the English one on this one this is soft suede and we are going to stick it on our new soft suede pad just like everybody always does right here in the middle Voila! and then if you flip it so that it's this way <laughs> because you want your sticker to be upside down so you want your label facing you this way then you can take another one whichever one you want whatever seems to be the most legible for you and stick it right here on the outside here then you have them then you have it labeled on the outside too. Some folks, like I said, if you want to, you can take the tray. And some folks take, I'm going to take my snips here, and cut right here on the outside of the word and right here on the outside of the word. So we're just cutting that word away. And for the sake of this video, I will go ahead and stick the sticker in here. Um, and you're going to take just the color again and stick it down in this little tray here so that, ooh, hello. I can't do things very straight today, can I? That's all right, just don't tell anyone. And stick one down in that side, and then the other one is gonna go down in the other side. And then you have a good reference from the top as well that you can tell that this is soft suede. Ooh, look at me, I've got stuff everywhere. That's usually how I craft anyway. Cattywampus and stuff everywhere. Look at that. Cricket again. I have ink everywhere. I don't know who does this, but when they do, they must be really talented. Okay, so now you've got your color on the inside, your color when it's open, and your color when it's closed. So these four, even though they're in different languages, can be very useful. You can use them. Um, some folks, like I use my... Um, I take my sponges and I stick them to clothespins. And I write cherry cobbler on the outside of the thing, but you could very easily stick your sticker on there, and it could be the color of the the particular ink that you're using. So these are very, very helpful, and thank you, Stampin' Up! for giving us four, <laughs> because inventive minds have shown us a way that we can use them for ways that uh, were not intended, perhaps. So I hope this is a good tip for you, and have a fabulous day. Bye!